a finite amount of money. And so that is that is something that is important to remember and consider when thinking about this money that the city is getting. Um, and one question that we ask at the Citizens Research Council is whether that $400 million is enough to address the city's fiscal shortfalls. The number one thing, actually, the most specific thing was, in fact, access to Internet. Um, and uh, home repair was also another huge issue, uh, but also business uh, for small businesses support. Uh, so it's a mix of areas and categories that uh, the mayor defined and uh, um, and community output. On our last survey that we administered this summer, we um, found data demonstrating that about 90,000 Detroit residents are living in housing that the census would likely classify as being in severely inadequate condition. This is housing in which residents say they have really significant heating problems or a lack of heating, electrical problems like exposed wiring, a broken furnace or a lack of pot or running water. The biggest problems that we are having in our community that have been um, worsened by one, the pandemic, and two, we keep leaving this out, the flooding that we had in the city. Mm -hmm. So we have people right now that I'm dealing with that don't have furnaces, they may have even bought a new furnace. And because of the flooding that happened in their home, those furnaces are out and they cannot be repaired. They have to be replaced. You know, one of the things that um, this, this, these challenges have brought out are the health disparities among, you know, among our people um, and especially among seniors, um, not being able to get to a doctor or, you know, we had a major flooding in one of our building in one of the buildings and 15 of our seniors were displaced and they would, you know, we as an organization or as a city was totally unprepared for that displacement. And so emergency housing for seniors is certainly a, a an issue that we need to address and bring up in matter, as a matter of fact, emergency preparedness for the entire city at a, at a grassroots level. We're focused on outcomes and, and, and the mayor is quite urgent about us using these dollars, Stephen, as you pointed out, making them transformative uh, 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 because you're right. This is once in a lifetime. We're never gonna get money like this again, ever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so, you know, we have a responsibility to spend it carefully, to spend it in a fully compliant manner, and that's what we're doing.